CSU's ROTC, Reserve Officer Training Corps, is only about 6% female. Caitlin Lozano is one of those females. It's kind of weird because we're supposed to be treated like the guys, but in doing so, the guys treat us differently. But it doesn't really affect me. It just makes me want to work harder so that they'll accept me because I'm a girl and I'm a really small girl. So people look at me and they're like, oh, like she can't do anything. So I just want to show them up. Overall, she uh, may not have been the biggest, but she, uh, she's very strong. <laughs> Guys in ROTC definitely treat me different when I'm in uniform. I've kind of built a reputation for myself where people don't really mess with me. Where as out of uniform with my friends outside of ROTC, just a big goofball and they don't really see that. Our cadet battalion commander pretty much said straightforward that uh, we are all here to train and we are all treated as equals. At 6 in the morning, Lozano is up and training for her PT test. The first part is two minutes of push-ups, the second part is two minutes of sit-ups, and the final part is a two-mile run. I'm Kelsey Peterson with CTV News and this is my attempt at an Army physical fitness test. So the push-ups I wasn't so good at, but the sit-ups in the run I could do. The standards are of course different for men and women, but fair because, as Lozano says, it's all proportional. But what about women in combat? So the only reason I'm kind of concerned about it is if I go down and I'm carrying 60 pounds of gear with my 107 pound self. It's, it's kind of a lot of weight uh, for a female to try and drag off. There are a lot of aspects of ROTC that are extremely physically tough for women. And it can be very disheartening and difficult, but I think anyone can do if they put their mind to it.